Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Clean your own house. And when I say your own house, I, I don't mean the physical house that you're living in, your home, apartment, condo, uh, tent, trailer, whatever, uh, car. Though you should keep that clean just on GP. A clean environment is great. That would probably be another podcast. No, I'm talking about the house that your spirit is in, your body, your soul. Um, and this, you know what, that's even deeper than that. It's talking about dealing with your own issues within your spirit. You know, it's a metaphor because you know how people be like messing with other people, but they themselves got either a house of cards or a glass house. And if people pointed back at them, they will fall apart. But you know how many people are, instead of dealing with their own issues, they can point out what's going on with everybody else. You know, that person over there is doing this or them people are doing something. And to be clear, yeah, I've talked about this similar thing before, but you know how it is. I'm going to talk about stuff over and over because some people don't get it. Some people need to hear it for the first time. Uh, And Ron moves with spirit. Spirit saying, hey, you need to tell these people this. You know, you get some people, they'll just sit around and say, yeah, this person this, this person that. Well, okay, fine. All right, you can find out everything wrong with this other person. So I guess you're perfect. You're perfect, you know, but you're not. No one is. See, one of the things when you clean your own house, it will actually change your attitude towards others because what people do is project. They got issues in a certain area. They'll project their problems onto someone else, and that's not proper. That's not proper because it's not solving the problem to begin with. It's not solving the problem in your own house. How is picking with somebody or finding every weakness with them or trying to focus on them helping you? It's not helping you one bit, is it? It has to change your situation. Your house still dirty. Like, okay, like we use that metaphor, like when somebody's uh, living in a house and they're looking at the neighbor's house and it's like, look at that trash over there. Look at all that stuff. But in order to look at it, they got to uh, uh, move the trash aside in their own place. Shoot. They got to wipe that spot in their dirty windows. And that doesn't work. That doesn't change the fact you got dirty windows. So what do you do? You start cleaning your own thing. Because, see, once you clean your own house, all of a sudden, you you looking around. You feeling good and everything, nice and clean. And it's like you dealt with the issues that were there. You know, you got rid of all those pests and everything. You painted. All of a sudden, you feeling good. You don't feel the same animosity towards someone else. See, the thing is, people really, they got issues with themselves. They hate themselves. But instead of looking inside to deal with it, they deal with the outside. And like I said, I've talked about this before in different forms, and I'll probably talk about it again because I see it all the time. But is that how you want to live, or do you want to live your best thing? See, everybody should be worried about cleaning their own house so they can live the best life that they can live. Because once you start living the best life you can live, you two it's two things. One, you don't have a you don't have a desire to deal with somebody else's stuff. As long as they ain't bothering or in your face with it, you ain't worried about it. Because have you noticed when people have some hate for somebody else or got some criticisms, that other person don't even know them. You know? That person ain't even interact with them. You know, this way you get like a lot of people who got some hate for different celebrities or something. It's like, I hate that guy. It's like, you know that guy? Well, no. Well, what's the point? You don't, he ain't forcing you to watch him. Or she ain't forcing you to watch her show. You know? So it's like, you know, that's helping you. That's helping you, first of all. You know, because once you start dealing with yourself, you start feeling better. And then once you feel better, you start doing more and things. You don't have time to hate. You don't have time. You start dealing with your own stuff. You start saying, wait a minute. I can, uh, 
this house is all clean. My circumstances all clean. I'm feeling good. Shoot, let me go do some. Let me go live my dreams. Let me go out and do stuff. Have you noticed that a lot of times, though, people have hate on or criticisms of people who are actually living their dreams while they themselves aren't? You clean your own house. You take that uh, projected hate away. All of a sudden, you got time to live your dreams. Don't you want to be that person? Don't you want to be focused on what you could do? And I've seen that with a lot of people. We all have some talents. We all have some gifts. But see, we so busy worried about everything else, we're not doing it. And I'm saying a collective we. I'm saying a collective we. Not myself personally, though. Y'all know me. Ron got to make up new dreams now. <laughs> but no, but seriously, all jokes aside, though, you want to live your dream. You want to you want to rise up and you probably have the talent within you. Every single person got that talent within them to do something. But you ain't going to do it if everything's clean. You know, you can't see out that window if the windows are dirty. You know, you ain't going to feel like it, you know, the house smelling and everything. Now, think about the metaphor of it. All your stuff is jacked up. You got some jacked up issues in your spirit. You need to deal with them. Because once you get them out the way, then you can see out that window. Then you feel comfortable within yourself. All of a sudden, things open up for you. Things open up for you. That's the beauty of it. That's the incredible beauty of it. So, I mean, this is, this is it. This is it. This is how you want to go. This is how you want to live life. You don't want to be stuck in a certain way. You know, you don't want to have that dirty house. You want your spirit to be the best it can. You want your spirit to fly, not wallowing in mud, but you want it to fly. You want it to be, you want it to have those wings and rise to the best thing possible. You want to be that caterpillar that becomes a butterfly, but you can't do it if your house dirty. You can't be doing it if you got this stuff bogging down and then you projecting it out as hate. Meanwhile, that person you saw in the hate at, they living it, they the butterfly. Shoot, you want to rise up with them. I want y'all to think about that. Think about that. You know, people need to focus on their dreams themselves, but then they got to deal with the stuff within them in order to get to that point. I want y'all I want y'all to think about that. I want y'all to know that. All right? Like, stop. Stop for a moment. You know? Stop for the moment. Focus on your own self. All right? So, I'm going to tell you what. Clean that house. Clean your own house. Y'all think about what I'm saying, and y'all keep rising. Peace and blessings.